So how can we change the perspective of an image which looks like non-affine that is where sides are not parallel or transform an image to an image that looks like affine that is if you have an image which is captured from the sides and you want to make it like as if it is taken from above or bird view giving a perspective from top down that is from where all the sides can be seen parallel. So look at this image which is in a non-affine in nature and we have to convert it into something like this. <music> Folks Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video I am going to explain how can we use OpenCV to change the perspective of an image and later on we will implement it using Python's OpenCV module. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also we now have the AI University mobile app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this particular course right here on the AI University website. All the courses on this website are offered for free. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's see what am I talking about perspective transformation. So we have this paper image which is certainly a non-affine transformation because sides of this paper image are not parallel. Now we want to convert it into this form where it becomes affine that is where sides of the paper are parallel in nature thereby changing the perspective in a way. So basically uh, kind of changing the skewed image to a more refined image. We can do this uh, if we have uh, you know the coordinates of the corners to the image and we will be making use of OpenCV's uh, get perspective transform and warp perspective functions to achieve this. So now let me open the Jupyter notebook to see how can we implement it. So you can see here that we are first importing our important uh, libraries. In the next line we are reading our image using imread function giving path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as input underscore image 2 to show you the original image. So let me run it to show you what is my original image. So this is my original image. Now let's move on to the next cell. In the next cell we have mentioned the coordinates in terms of pixel of the four corners of this non-affined paper object inside the image. So this paper object inside the image. Okay. And we are combining these coordinates to create an array or matrix. Okay. This is our matrix original image coordinate. Okay. So we are storing this matrix value inside this variable or matrix named as original image coordinate. Now you might be wondering how can we find out these coordinates meaning these coordinates which are mentioned here okay 71 72 369 74 19 45 435 484 these coordinates are nothing but the coordinates of the corners these these corners 1 2 3 and 4 corners of this page object inside this image okay and that's what we want to basically extract first and the way we can find out the four corner coordinates is by opening the MS Paint application. So this is the MS Paint application where I have opened my image. So how can we capture it? So you can see that a mouse pointer how hovering over here. So just move that pointer at one of the corner on the upper left corner. So you can see the when I moved my pointer here, the corresponding value got changed here, lower left corner. You will see once again. Okay. So I am pointing it here and the corresponding value is getting changed on the lower left corner. You can see that 71, 71 mentioned there, right? 
Now move your point, move your pointer to second coordinate, and you can see that the point value was 368.73. Now then we have this third coordinate 17.488, and this one is the 434.486. So this is the way we can capture the coordinates of the four corners of this page or the sample page. Okay. and that's what i have mentioned here right so in the next line um we are using the circle function uh inside for loop uh to mark these coordinates or points in order to make sure that we have captured the coordinates in a right way or we have captured the right coordinates okay on the paper and if you have uh, jumped directly on this video and doesn't know uh, about the circle function uh then you can watch the video link of which is given in the i button above so inside this circle function uh we are passing few arguments number 1 is the original image which is input underscore image 2 where we have our page object okay inside the image number 2 is the tuple of coordinates of the circle's center point third one is the radius which is defined as 5 here fourth one depicts the color of the circle which is in our case blue and the fifth one is minus 1 which depicts that we want to solid fill the circle so let me run the cell now perfect so now you can see that circles has been drawn the blue circles rather has been drawn at the four corners of the page right that means we are picking the right coordinates here okay as shown here so these will be our coordinates which we are picking up and these are the right coordinates and this is just one uh, validation we want you to do before moving forward right so let's close it let's move on to the next cell so in the next cell uh, we are creating a similar array here but the coordinates are of destination image okay so let me first run this so this is this is what i'm talking about so these are these coordinates are nothing but these coordinates these four coordinates of the target image or object these four corners okay so this one is the 0 0 this one is the width 0 this one is 0 height and this one is the width and height so these are the points of our output image which suggest the desired location of points where we want to get the desired image transformed okay so consider this image once again so we have our source image coordinates like this which are mentioned in a non affined way so these are the source coordinates of the image object and these are the target coordinates of the image object and these are the points uh, we want to change the perspective of this image So these are the source coordinates that we captured using MS Paint application a while ago, okay? And these are the target points that we want in order to change the perspective of the image, right? So we have defined the height and width of the dimensions here, right? And these are the dimensions inside which we want to fit this page to, okay? So height is four fifty. and width is 350 here okay so these these are the dimensions inside which we want to fit the page or image object of the page okay so this is these height and width are being used in this particular matrix only okay that contains the four coordinates of the target perspective of the image in the next line uh, we are generating uh, the perspective transformation matrix p by making use of get perspective transform function by passing original image coordinate and new image coordinate as an argument what this function do is to create a matrix that can transform original image coordinate to new image coordinate okay and after that in the next line we are using warp perspective function that takes arguments like input image or the input image to in our case uh transformation matrix p and 
the third argument is the dimension size of the image we want to see the output image to so the input image will use transformation matrix p to convert it into the output image so when i run the cell our original non affine uh, perspective image got transformed to more meaningful image as you can see here and this is this image is in uh, affined form or the affine transformed so cam scanner app uses this particular con concept only to capture and scan your tilted graph if you have noticed so folks this is it for this video hope you have learned something new today in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the computer vision using open cv series so here is today's question what is the usage of transformation matrix uh, that we have created using get perspective transform function please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you